Yo, it's a bullet brawl. Amarose, 2601, certainly the favorite here over me. I wonder if one day I will ever be the favorite again. I mean, I like to think that I am my own favorite, you know, Stuart Smalley. But okay, this is weird, and I'm going to punish him for that. Don't come around my house and play terrible chess moves, all right? Because you shall be punished. We shall be free. Uh, go there. Eh, come back. What the shenanigans. Let him cripple his structure and do so. I know he thought he was trapping my bishop. And then it's like, oh, snap. No bishop trappy for you, big guy. That's a knight on e5. Oh, oh no, you didn't. I should have just put the knight there in one material. Uh, should I play knight g6 check? I probably need to get the queen up in this without getting too down on time. Remember, you don't really want to think too much about your moves. Because most of the time, what you're thinking about is not very good. I'm not too worried about that. We'll open it up. We will open it up, Buttercup. Play d5. Now we'll. Oh no, I just blundered my queen. Oh, thank gosh she didn't see it. Because I deserve to win this game from start to finish. He had knight c3 check. <laughs> That was the idea, yeah? But it's still, uh, I'm still down on time, so I should not underestimate my opponent's ability to win this game. What in the world? That must have been a mouse slip. So I'll take it now. Take it the second time around. Take it again. Come up. We'll just take it all. And we'll win. And we'll get off to a great start in today's Bullet Brawl. We know we're playing a strong player, so it's going to take focus, right? It's uh, it's going to take the game that will go down in history. You will remember me for centuries. What gives Fallout Boy the right to make horrible music? Like, who woke up and said, hey, you guys will now be the ones allowed to make horrible music? And we will remember you for centuries because your music sucks. All right. And then I got I got nothing against Fallout Boy. I mean, clearly. Anyway, this is a funky, junky monkey right here. I have absolutely no idea what's going on besides that I must be worse. I must be much worse. Um... So I'm going to try my best to keep it mixed up. To keep it funky junky. Yeah, we'll go get that bishop. Say what? He can do that, huh? Maybe I should have just taken on f6 and kept the pieces on the board. But I'm not sure. Honestly, I wasn't sure of the right idea there. Okay, he's played there. Now I think I can get this pawn. Hopefully I can corral it. Or at least take a draw. So if that's what he wants, we will take a draw. Nope, he doesn't want the draw. Wise decision by him. Ha. Ah. But now I have inched closer to victory. Have I not? No, I haven't. Yeah. Still no bueno for me. Ooh, wait. He wanted a checkmate. I respect that. Respect that trick, but he didn't see I could take with that rook. So we'll see how he how he approaches this. I'm gonna go after the uh, C4 pawn. See if I can't go win. You know, that's that's a horrible horrible move. Then I will just go ahead and just take everybody. Well, he panicked. He was actually up on time. I guess he was frustrated. That happens psychologically sometimes when 
you were better the whole game and your opponent has kind of held to the point where you're both under mutual time pressure. You lose your lose your cool, so to speak. So we'll see if we can make this a uh, a perfect bullet brawl today, a 3-0 Billy Joe, as they say. I'm pretty sure that some people do use the term Billy Joe as much as I do. It happens. All right. Let's uh let's see what we can make happen here. Let's see if we can keep everybody happy. Wow, he's really just going to go and do that, huh? All right. He's going to win that pawn, but honestly, that's a lot of initiative to give to me. So so we'll see if I can get him to regret that regret that decision. I have the bishop pair and some pressure. Hmm. I probably should have just taken on f6 in hindsight, but I did not. So now we have something kind of strange. That is for sure. I'm going to try to kick that bishop out of f5. Okay, he backs up. That's all right. We're not we're not super worried. Oh, we are worried about that. I blundered the rook. I uh, forgot for a moment that he had doubles double the rooks attack right double the fun. So we can only hope for something randomly weird to take advantage of his dark squares. I shouldn't have done that. He's going to trade rooks now. Yeah. That was the correct simplification decision, and I will resign and unfortunately push this to another game. No more, no undefeated bullet brawl today against my higher rated opponent. Let's, uh, let's see if we can, we can make something different happen here. Ooh, really? That's interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Can you say interesting one more time? Interesting. Ooh, also interesting. This position is just filling my... It's filling my heart with uh, sadness, taking away all my gladness. It's causing me troubles. That's what you do. Did I, I think I just messed that up. I don't think that's how the song goes. But, you know, subconsciously, that's how I feel about the position. So, appropriate. Hashtag open the D file, baby girl. All right, I'll take some of that. West running that. I will take some of that. Give a little check of Lena Lashlamba. Ooh, I like it. Take it. Bring a knight in here. Right, I can take it here and put the knight there. That's a little strange by him. I have an idea to him for him to open up the d2 square up, ah, and he blundered it. That was my tactico. Was uh, allowing him the opportunity to blunder the d2 square. I noticed that his rook was sort of overloaded. Okay, let's control the open files to prevent his rook from getting active. There's some education. Don't ever say these brawls aren't educational. Give a little check on Lena Lashlamba. Play b4. What I really want to do is come up here and sack and win the rook ending. That's what I really, really want to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sack attack. I'm going to come over here and win the f-pawn as well. Give a little check. Play a little tickle. Kick that king back. And, uh, hmm. Well, that was silly of him. Now I've got the third rank sort of trapped. Oh, no. It's one of those where I'm totally winning, but down on time. Damn it.
Oh no. Whoa, that was a mouse slip. A draw. I mean, I was winning this position just a few moves ago, but I looked down and saw I had five seconds to his 13 seconds. So, oh man, that means I have not officially won this best of five bullet brawl today. You know what we set out to do. We set out to, uh, you know, take some A and kick some names or, or something like that. Take some A and kick some names, one or the other. If he takes it, we will take it with the pawn. Yep, that is how we roll with these shenanigans. Boomtown. That's a bishop on a diagonal, and he's happy to see you. Is that a bishop on a long diagonal, or are you just happy to see me, man? Don't. Don't even think about putting your knight on e5. You will regret it. You know why? Because I'm going to undouble my pawns and then double your pawns, baby. Oh, Snapsville. No more bishop developing to g7. Let's go attack a7 and see how he plays a little tickle. Boom. That's a discovery. Queen e3 had a double purpose. I am on fire right now. I am on fire right now as far as my visualization of the situation. I think I might be having what alcoholics refer to as a moment of clarity. Um... Not that that should offend anybody, it's just a term that people say a lot. A moment of clarity, what is that? Don't play bad moves in bullet brawls. But I still am down on time consistently. There's just... There's just, uh... It's tricky. It's just tricky to... To not get down on time. Oh, now he's got dual threats. Uh, he's gonna... He's going to come in. I'm going to take here somehow. And then play b3. It's a, it's a definitely, you know, not ideal for me. I, I didn't have the uh, wherewithal to figure out those tactics, to be honest with you. It seemed like he either played a good combination or I just was really unable to, to figure out how to handle it. You know, maybe a combination of both. But I just don't want to trade queens right now so that I can keep the potential of an attack going. Uh oh. Okay, good. He didn't see it. No. Oh. He's just purposely getting me to lose on time. <laughs> Can't say I haven't done that to people, but it's just it's just unfortunate. I feel like I've actually played really well here, right? This was a about as much of a one sided tied match I think you can have. I've played I've played good chess and just I gotta speed up. Stop making these jokes and uh forget about the insults that are needed to come Fallout Boy's direction. You know, leave that on somebody else's plate. And uh, focus on what I can control. Story of my life. Focusing on things I have no control over. Which leads to anxiety. Which leads to expensive therapy bills. And, uh, and yeah. Something I'm not a stranger to. Look at that. You like that? That's a knight on c3. That feels real good. Feels real good getting that rook on the second rank. Now I just need to move this knight here and get the dark squares open. Get the dark square diagonal open and see how he wants to play with that. Uh, he wants to take. But can he do that and not lose? Oh, uh, I just lost a pawn. Or even a piece. Maybe the exchange. Oh wait, I just went down the whole rook. Oh, no, I didn't. It was just a piece. So, and I actually still have some pawns to show for it. Or at least I did. I did have some pawns to show for it. 
until I totally messed up. I don't know. This could end up being a bad way to end this bull of brawl if I am not careful. After having played well. Boomtown walked him into a checkmate. I saw that coming and I didn't even want to say it because he had he had the rook h4. I thought he was just going to take a draw. What's funny is even after the loss of that piece, how many pawns did I have to start before my blunder of the d6 pawn? I mean, I had three pawns to start, so I was actually probably not even worse. Bishop f6 guards everything, and I can coordinate slowly, so I think I panicked having blundered that piece, and having a better position earlier meant that I was probably going to be in decent shape. So shouldn't have panicked, but we'll take it as a victorious bullet brawl right now. Three and a half, two and a half over Amorose. And uh, maybe we'll see this guy again at some point. Have a good day, everybody.